The White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer apologizing tonight and taking full responsibility for saying wrongly that Hitler never used bi chemical weapons during World War II. Back with me now, uh, my panel, and I'm sure people, the reaction is going to be unbelievable. Uh, April, you were there in the room. Big backlash to the comments by Sean Spicer comparing Hitler and Assad. Let's listen to the full clip. Uh, first, he makes a statement, and then he tries to clarify it. We didn't use chemical weapons in World War II. You know, you had a, you know, someone as despicable as Hitler who didn't even sink to the, to the, to using chemical weapons. So you have to, if you're Russia, ask yourself, is this a country that you and a regime that you want to align yourself with? Quote, Hitler didn't even sink to the level of using chemical weapons. What did you mean by that? I think when you come to sarin gas, uh, there was no, he was not using the gas on his own people the same way that a shot is doing. I mean, there was clearly, I, I, I understand your point. Thank you. I, I, thank you. I appreciate that. There was not in the, in the, he brought him into the, to, um, to the Holocaust Center. I understand that. But I'm saying in the way that the Assad used them, where he went into towns, dropped them down to innocent into the middle of towns. You were in the room. What was your, what was the reaction? Um, I was actually writing and I was listening and when he started making the statements I was um, it was it was an impacting statement something that you're not he touched a third rail um, and I quickly lifted my head and I heard audible gasps in the room I heard people saying things and I kept turning and looking people were very upset particularly uh, many of the uh, Jewish American reporters that were in the room um, it was it was not a shining moment for him um, to make that statement. You never compare Hitler with anyone. You don't even bring Hitler up. Mm -hmm. um, it was just a very bad moment. Uh, Nia, I mean, Holocaust centers. I mean, it was, you know. Yeah, no, I've never ever heard that uh, phrase. I guess in that particular uh, moment, he uh, he meant gas chambers. And I, when I was looking at uh, Sean Spicer up there, and we know Sean Spicer obviously, and he's been in the shop for 82 days now, uh, and you could sort of tell that he knew that he was getting into territory and comparisons that might not uh, exactly be helpful. And you can sort of see in the room there, April was obviously there. It seems like the reporters are trying to help him out uh, to get to a place where he can clarify and make good uh, and, and make some sense with this statement, uh, but he, he, it, he was never really able to do that, and of course he released the third statement. Let me read uh, that statement. He released yeah. a statement. He says, I'm, uh, I, in, in no way was I trying to lessen the horrendous nature of the Holocaust. I was trying to draw a distinction of the tactic of using airplanes to drop chemical weapons on population centers. Any attack on innocent people is reprehensible and inexcusable. But then Anna, as mistakes go, I mean, this was a, a, a pretty big one, um, so much so that Sean Spicer. Uh, I think the came word on. you're looking for is huge. Yeah, <laughs> huge. He apologized to Wolf Blitzer. Here it is. I was uh, obviously trying to make a point about the heinous acts that Assad had made against his own people last week using chemical weapons and gas. Um, and frankly, I mistakenly uh, used an inappropriate and insensitive reference to the Holocaust, for which, frankly, there is no. Uh, there is no, no, no comparison, and for that, I, I apologize. It was a mistake to do that. So he's had an adversarial relationship since he's been in that role with CNN. He chose, but usually he goes on Fox News in friendly territory. This time he went on CNN uh, with a reporter who, with an anchor who has connections to the Holocaust. Um, mm -hmm. Was this a big enough blunder for that, did he? Why did he feel he had to come on and, and go with Wolf Blitzer? I'm glad he did choose Wolf, but it's certainly saying something that he didn't go to Fox News. Well, look, let me let me say this. I I knew Sean Spicer before he overdosed on orange Kool Aid, and he is not an anti Semite. He is not a bad guy. He is a decent guy who I think is trying to do his job. I don't think the things he said were ma with uh, malicious intent. He is not a Holocaust uh, denier. That being said. You never ever make comparisons with Hitler. You never ever make comparisons with rape. Not in politics, not anywhere, not on TV. I think Sean realizes he made a very big mistake. The problem Sean has is that he's you know, been on the job 82 days, and it's about time he starts get, getting his footing. I think he's you know, uh, developed an adversarial uh, relationship with the press. He's become a running joke on 
late night comedy shows. That is a problem for the White House press secretary who speaks on behalf of an administration and who is supposed to have a level of credibility. And let me tell you, I think April Ryan, man, girl, you should have been shaking your head at this mm -hmm. one. <laughs> okay, listen, Anna, uh, Alan, and Alan Anna. is sitting here. Alan is biding his time. <laughs> And, uh, Alan, I want to get your uh, perspective on this, because uh, Stephen Goldstein, who's executive uh, director of the Anne Frank Center, issued the statement that's scathing. He said, on Passover, no less, Sean Spicer has engaged in Holocaust denial, the most offensive form of fake news imaginable, by denying Hitler gas millions of Jews to death, said executive director of the Center, Stephen Goldstein, in a statement. Spicer's statement is the most evil slur upon a group of people we have ever heard from. Uh, a White House press secretary. Well, Do you think he was engaging in Holocaust denial? No, and of course what this guy who claims to be the head of the Frank Center, who's a total mm -hmm. phony, there's no such thing. It's a, it's a minor institution. It has no credibility within the Jewish community. He's constantly trying to get headlines by overblowing everything. What happened here is the guy screwed up and he apologized and he apologized from his heart. And I'm prepared to give him a pass on this. I'll tell you who I'm not prepared to give a pass on this. The Democratic National Committee that has immediately decided to politicize this and send out immediate tweets saying we can't tolerate anti-Semitism, even a whiff of anti-Semitism. This is the Democratic National Committee who has as its co-chairman, Keith Ellison, who didn't political. recognize, this is, this who, let me finish, politics. who didn't let, let recognize finish. the fact that he was working for an anti-Semite uh, Farrakhan. Uh, this is just hypocrisy. Alan, and I, I think we I should not make politics out of this. The Democrats, the Republicans. It's very emotional to you because when there's yeah. an issue, especially when it comes to politics, you bring that up. And that right. is, you even threatened to, you said that you That's were right. going to um, lead the Democratic Party yeah. if they elected Keith Ellison. That's I right. understand that. So, uh, you know, maybe they have their issues, but this is something different. This is something this that is happened something today. This is something that ought not to be politicized. Yeah. It was a mistake. You don't make analogies to Hitler. He apologized profusely and from the heart. Yeah. Let's put it behind us. Let's not let the and Frank people take advantage of this. Let's not let the Democrats take advantage of this. Let's understand that it was a mistake. He apologized and let's move on. Okay, hang on. Shouldn't the person who is speaking for the highest person in the land yeah. have um, a grasp of history? Of course. Everyone makes mistakes, and I've heard people today make excuses for this by mm -hmm. saying everybody makes a mistake. And whatever. Yes, we all do, but not everybody is speaking for the President of the United States. I agree, but let's remember, too, this is one of the rare occasions where anybody in the Trump administration has made a full-throated, complete apology. Let's praise that when it happens to encourage it more and more. Go ahead, Jack. Is this a liability no. for That's the administration? That's not true. That's not true. No, no ben, it's not. Ben Carson I, made an apology I, for I, something, I think too. That, you know, like those this. of us who have known Sean for many, many years know that there's not an anti-Semitic bone in this body. He's a very decent, honorable guy in an extremely difficult job. I mean, how would you like a, you know, two-hour pop quiz every single day with a bunch of people who say, I got you on the slightest mistake? And I'm not saying this was that case. I'm just saying on anything he slips on. It, it, he's got to walk on a tightrope every single day. But those of us who know him, know that this was an aberration. This is not, uh, there was no intent here. He wasn't trying to be clever. He wasn't trying to be sarcastic. He, he, I think I, that, and, and he apologized yeah, I think immediately. That, Jack, so I, think I, that I agree people with that. Are not, I don't think that um, people are saying that, that Sean Spicer is an anti-Semite in any way. I think they're talking about his obfuscation and his deflection and his lack of grasp on basic history. After all, I think most well, people in, the, in even a grade schooler can tell you about the Holocaust and say there was gas sure, chambers, sure. which is a sure. chemical weapon. And if you're the person, again, who is speaking from the podium in the White House briefing room and you say that Hitler didn't gas people or use chemical weapons, um, that is just, that's a complete uh, blunder. And listen, well, uh, but, okay, but, he apologized, but still, you cannot say that this was not a blunder. It was a blunder. Uh, well, it, it was a blunder, and I'm, I'm given all that. I would say, you know, as I listen to it, my interpretation, and I would, I, I agree with all of the above, by the way, but I would say, what he, he said, didn't use chemical weapons in that manner, meaning uh, uh, use it in barrel bombs or, you know, whatever um, from the sky. And, you know, it was a stupid thing to say. Everybody acknowledges that. And I think 
if he had have tried to defend the statement or, you know, but now you're sitting here trying to defend the indefensible yeah, because even he is saying that what he said is indefensible. But now you're trying to defend it. Jack. No, no, I, I'm not. I'm actually saying I agree with the above. If I was going to defend it, that's what I would have said. But, you know, I mean, to me, I understand for perhaps <laughs> what he was trying to get to. And, and but you know, wait, listen, but Jack, I mean, even he doesn't understand what he's trying to get to. He's saying there's no excuse for what he said. Go ahead, David. I would just look, Congressman, no, I, I, I see what you're saying. And I, I too want to say I think that Sean Spicer deserves credit for coming out before the cameras and apologizing right away today. And it, it seemed sincere and full throated. That being said, though, uh, Congressman Kingston, you, a minute ago you were talking about this idea that he's got a tough job and he's getting his footing and how would people like to go out there. He knew what he signed up for when he became the press secretary for President exactly. Trump. President exactly. Trump is a shoot from the hip guy and Sean Spicer knew full well what he was getting into. They've got this war of words escalating and, and you know between us and the he, Russians and, and he let his rhetoric get ahead of what's so going but, but on in the world. Wait, 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 just one more thing. Let the Democrats criticize him. That was a response to a question. Let the Democrats criticize him for making a mistake. But, but it's a, wrong. This is a Democrats criticizing for him. I mean, not I'm I'm criticizing him for what you're saying. Can I, 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 why does this have to be political? As someone who sits in that exactly room right. and asks Sean questions, and yes, I have known Sean for a while, he was given a question and he stepped into his own hole. Right. No one gave him that well, hole. He well, stepped oh, into baby, his own he stepped hole. in more than and a hole. He stepped in a hell of a hole. That's not finish. what the Democrats accused him of. The okay, Democrats but, 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 said, but, 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 we don't tolerate not, a wisp of anti Can we deal with this? Can we deal with this? Can we deal with the issue without dealing with politics? Alan, you're doing that. and the I am doing that. April is talking about the press, the press people in the room, and how the country has reacted to it. I'm talking about, I'm just talking. I'm just trying to get to the issue of okay. what happened in that right. room. I'm not bringing politics in it. I'm talking about this statement happened during Passover, a holy well, time that's... for a community that was the okay. butt of an atrocity, a community, six million people. This is, it's not about politics. It's about people who were hurt. Okay. Sean let, went out there realizing what politics. he did, and Anna, he apologized. Anna, let me but say that's not Anna, that's you're April. above politics, but you're not I'm above April. This is April. Him. I'm sorry. April, I'm sorry. But you, I can't see Sue's talking. I apologize. Yeah. But, not all um, color girls are the same, Jack. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, They're but both I'm wearing not yellow. looking. Hey, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> quickly, I, I've but, got to get um, to the break. Here's the producers. point. You might not be criticizing him because you're a Democrat. You're criticizing him because you don't like Trump. I never That's said I, I was a suspect. Democrat. I never <laughs> said I was a Republican. You don't I, know my she's politics. A she's, she's a journalist. She's an objective journalist. I've got to run. I've got to run. Let me, let me United say this. I've got to I'm run. I'm a Democrat. Now, he just, he just went to a it's whole okay nother. So I'm a Democrat because I'm black? Uh, no. Are you saying I'm a Democrat? <laughs> no, you're I'm a black? Democrat. Oh, boy, he, no, a, no, you, he thinks you're me. One. That's the problem that was he's really having. That's a quick one. <laughs> I tried to do something. Jack, do me a I'll favor. Try, quit while you're behind. Let's well, just yeah. not politicize yeah. the Holocaust yeah. on either side. <laughs> you're going you to wrap you know, this, Don, right? Okay, Alan, I understand what you're saying. We shouldn't be politicizing this, and no one should be politicizing this. The only thing is that, quite honestly, when I heard this today, I thought about all of my Jewish friends like you, and I was. I, I shouldn't say I was but, offended, but it was it was hurtful. It was to, especially to have apologized. someone who didn't understand that. When I saw Wolf interviewing him, I actually had to congratulate him for going on Wolf's show, and I thought Wolf did a very good job. He did. Um, and, Absolutely. You know, if someone gives you an apology, accept it, but but criticize. You know you what you're doing criticize. when you're the yep. White House yep. press secretary. Yep. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Thank you. We'll be right Thanks, back. Don.